Hey CDS, um, I hope everyone's doing well. My name is Joey Menendez. I am the interim secondary principal at CDS. And what that means for those of you that know, I'm, I'm the middle and high school principal for this upcoming school year. Uh, I'm really excited about the new responsibilities that I have in the middle school, um, while also um, ensuring that the high school it continues to be a thriving um, educational place for our high school students. Um, I just really wanted to share some brief oversight as to our virtual learning um, that's getting ready to start here on August 12th. Some of you guys might have some questions on what's going to be different, what's, the, what's, what's changed, um, and let me see if I can explain that as quickly as I possibly can. Um, also be on the lookout for an opportunity to um, have a Q&A with me um, and some, and in the coming days. Um, we'll try to put that together before school starts. So again, if you have questions, you can always ask me, but we'll try to do some kind of webinar with a little bit more deeper dive into um, the components of our virtual school uh, and hybrid models um, when we come back to a face-to-face -face environment. Um, but really, brief overview, um, some of the changes that we have um, done. In the middle school, uh, we had all seven classes meeting all constantly throughout um, the day, each and every day. Um, we've shut, we've, we've cut that down to, to four classes every day. And you might be thinking, well, that's less class time. It's not. Um, we've actually increased the number of, a number of minutes um, at each class would meet. Um, giving students the opportunity to learn uh, the skills and content needed in each class while also giving them opportunity to, to do the actual practical work um, during that class period. So our hope um, is every class will start with teachers um, giving their lessons and face-to-face and, and -face being able to interact with our students. Um, also have an opportunity for students to um, shut down, move, maybe move away from the screen for a little bit, do some work, actual work, uh, classwork, um, and then drive back into uh, the end of the period to close out the period, close out the lesson, make sure everyone's on the same page and we're moving on to the next class. Um, so we're going to do that um, four periods every other day. Um, that will help with managing time. It will help with uh, a good balance instead of just trying to get a whole bunch of information from different classes constantly coming in every single day. We're just spacing that out um, a little bit. I think that will be very beneficial to our students. It will be very beneficial to our, our, our parents and, and, our, and our teachers. So that's, that's one big change um, that we're going to be doing. Um, our teachers will be um, online uh, the, the, the entire day, so there will be complete access to them. Um, during those periods and as well. Um, uh, we'll have face-to-face -face moments. So our goal is to provide as much of a classroom experience virtually as we possibly can. Um, focusing on social emotional development, focusing on um, teacher interactions with students. Um, to that end, we're going to ask every student to make sure that their cameras are on so we can see faces. If we can't see each other face-to-face -face, um, physically, then we want to be able to see each other face to face in a classroom. So we are no longer going to have uh, cameras uh, shut down and, and see logos and so forth on, on the screen. We really want to see faces. We want uh, school to, to be as much of a school environment as we possibly can virtually. Um, grading scale is going to continue in the middle school with what they've been uh, doing with standards-based grading. So there's no pass-fail, no high-pass, low-pass, or whatever it might, might be. Um, that will continue through. Um, students are used to, students and teachers that are, have been used to that grading scale will continue um, doing that. Um, on the high school, very similar in terms of the lessons, right? We will still have, we'll have four periods a day, 80-minute um, classes. We'll have um, brief lessons and lectures, um, time for students to, to do the work, to check back in at the end to close out the period. Um, and, uh, the only difference is we'll have an, a little bit more extended panther time slash advisories um, every other day instead of once a week like last year. So that gives students even more time to really understand uh, what they're learning, really under, uh, get an opportunity to talk to teachers, um, to meet with clubs um, if they need to. Um, so we, we're really trying to put that in there as well. Um, the social emotional component, as I said, is going to be really important for us. We want to uh, provide opportunities in the school day and in the school week for students to come together um, socially um, outside of just an academic realm. Um, and so we, we're working on those aspects as well. Um, and then finally, you know, the difference, we're moving back to a normal 100-point grading scale um, that we, to start the year off um, 
We'll be utilizing a lot more rubrics and expectations, but just converting those to a 100-point scale all the way through uh, the school year. So those that were concerned that we would be uh, doing a pass-fail or going to standards-based uh, competency grading, we're not. We'll be using a 100-point scale like we normally have in reporting our grades. Um, we will be using a lot more rubrics and a lot more expectations, a lot more different kinds of assessments to make sure that we're gaining a, a true understanding of what's being learned. Uh, from our students uh, at home. Um, so that's kind of a brief overview of a virtual school experience. We're excited. We're ready. We're ready to see students. We're ready to see face-to-face -face, even though uh, we might not physically be able to see each other. Um, same thing. Cameras will be on. We want students to be engaged um, in their classes um, and not hide behind a, a screen um, where we can't see what's really going on. Um, like I said, be on the lookout for a, an email from me or from the school um, inviting everyone to any kind of um, parent um, middle and high school kind of Q&A to, to get further clarity on what we will be doing in the classroom uh, virtually as well as when we uh, more details as what will happen when we go back to a face-to-face -face model. Um, as I said, I'm excited for this school year as uh, crazy as it is to start. Um, we have, we're committed to continuing to be the best educational institution here in Costa Rica. And we know that we will provide the absolute best education possible um, for your child. Um, we've been working hard on it. <clears throat> our teachers will be ready. And we, we know that our students will be ready as well. So if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon.